Hey friends and welcome back to the channel for another dresser makeover. In today's video, I'm going to transform this dresser that I found on Facebook Marketplace for $40. It's in really good condition. The only thing is that it's missing some of those metal prongs that keep the drawers from sliding back too far. I'll try to show a close up here in the next clip. So pretty much that's the only thing that I did notice. It's uh, quite a few of them were missing but other than that it looks really good it's a stanley dresser and all of the drawers work perfectly and it also came with a mirror um she also had a nightstand i did not take the nightstand because it kind of had a lot of work that needed to be done to it so the mirror i did keep um i didn't paint it so i'm not sure exactly what i want to do with this if i'm going to sell it as is or paint it and resell it but i don't think i'm going to sell it with the dresser so the first thing that i always do is i clean all of my pieces with dawn soap and warm water i actually did this the day before um just because i told you guys i'm running out of energy rather quickly so i'm trying to come up with some creative ways so that i can get more done in my work day um, i'm six and a half months pregnant in this clip but as i'm filming this voiceover i'm currently seven months pregnant so everything is going well and i'm, I'm really excited because we're almost there and um, yeah, so here I am just removing all of the hardware. And then um, I wanted to show you guys that on those center drawers, I did need to lift the pinholes first and then pry the hardware off with a flathead screwdriver. So that's just a quick tip for you guys. And that was pretty much it for the hardware. The next step is to plug all of my hardware holes because I am going to replace this hardware. I know that's not really the popular thing to do when it comes to that particular hardware, but I'm personally not a fan, so I don't have any problems with going against the popular way to do things. I'm just going to create the way that I like to create, so I will be changing out that hardware, and I just make bondo piles, and I work in sections because you guys know this stuff hardens rather quickly. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill these holes now and then we'll move on to the next step. So for the next step, I needed to clean out the inside of the dresser. Um, and this is where I got excited because I ended up finding all of those metal prongs that I was talking about earlier. So that's gonna save me about 12 bucks. And I'm all about saving money, but I'll also be sure to link down below um, where you can find those on Amazon if you need them. You get quite a few of them and I think it was a good deal, but if I can save an extra expense, I'm definitely gonna do so. And I'll be sure to show you how I reinstall these in the next clip. So I just added a drop of wood glue and then I hammered them down and they dried nice and hard. So I'm, I'm confident that they shouldn't be shifting or moving out of place, at least not anytime soon. Thank you. 
Next step is to do all of my sanding. I'm gonna use a 120 grit sandpaper to do all of my sanding, including my scuff sanding as well. So this is the second video in a row that I forgot to press record for something. So we're just gonna blame that on pregnancy brain. But let's just go ahead and talk about this paint choice for today. I'll give credit to my business partner, my husband. Um, he actually picked this color for me. I had a color in mind, but the color swatch that I had wasn't really that great and they weren't able to color match it. Um, and I did not know the name of the color. It wasn't, it wasn't on the picture. So. Nonetheless, we just had to pick a new color. We ended up picking one in the store. So this is a Dunn Edwards color, which is something I don't typically use, but I'm really impressed with this color. It's called Refined Green. And at first, I wasn't really too excited about it, but by the time I put my final coat on, it all came together. So Refined Green um, from Dunn Edwards. Of course, you guys know I like to use their Evil Eclipse brand. This is Evil Eclipse by Gemini. It's a dull finish and it's a all-in-one paint. So no top coat necessary. It just helps with eliminating those extra steps. And top coats, if I'm honest, they intimidate me. So I just had some bad experiences in my past. So I technically, I, I typically don't, um, I don't use top coats. So I ended up doing three coats of paint. For some reason with this darker color, it kind of is, it's really, I don't know, the painting process is different for me with darker colors. Um, you can definitely see where there are lighter strokes of green versus where it's full coverage. So you'll kind of see that in the next few clips here. I'll show you guys what I mean. So I had to do, I ended up doing three coats. I typically only do two, but um, in this case I did three. And like I said, I'll show you guys what that looks like upcoming. Okay, so two things here. 
One, I'm showing you guys that a bug landed in my paint. This always happens. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure you guys have the same issue. So you're not alone. And then also, too, you can see those strokes that I was talking about more clearly in that clip there. So this is the next day. I'm going to go ahead and do all of the drawers. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit that dresser for the second time. And then all of the finishing coats, I'll be doing those off camera. And then so pretty much after this, I'm going to add my new hardware, which I did not film. And I usually don't film that process. Um, you can let me know if that's a process you guys would like to see. But usually I'm just like chilling in my house clothes and I'm in the kitchen and it's really dark lighting in there. And it's usually on a day that I just um, I'm chilling. And so I don't really like to film that. I'm just in my zone. And it kind of was a it was really difficult for me for some reason. I had some issues with the measuring process, but it all came together. So the next clip you'll see will be the before picture of the dresser and then we'll get into the reveal. So I wanted to include this clip to show you guys that this is actually a more true representation of the color, at least in my opinion. Um, so I encourage you to follow me over on Instagram. This is the kind of content and clips that you'll see over there. So please give me a follow at Beauty From Neglect. I'd love to have you. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs> 